very, very good. Yeah, so as I was saying, we've got the 15th day there, and then, which is our, our Shabbat, this is a high Sabbath, and then right. the Festival of Unleavened Bread is what we're talking about. That's the high Shabbat. Seven mm -hmm. days here to, to eat this bread, right? But you shall bring... Yep. Wait a minute. Where, where are we waving sheaves at? Here. And yeah. he says, all right, so so what he's telling them when you come into your land, because they're not going to be planting grain until they come into the land. So for 40 years, they're, they're not on this cycle of, of grains, right? So he tells them, when you when you come into the land, which I give you, you shall reap its harvest and you shall bring a sheaf of its first fruits of your harvest to the priest. So we're bringing the, the barley sheaves to the priest to wait. Right. At this point, but this is when they come into the land. They're not going to be planting grains until until they get in there. So that's why he says that. But they're still on this on this cycle. They just may not even know it, right? So right. we start counting, right? We start counting from that day, the day uh, of you know, till till we get to Shavuot. But it gets kind of confusing for for people. All right, you shall bring on uh, you are bringing an uh, offering made by party who have for seven days that's unleavened bread and on the seventh day is a set apart gathering you shall do no servile work this is our shabbat there right yep right and he says so so after that day after the shabbat you shall wave the sheaf before you for your acceptance and on the morrow after the sabbath waves it on that day when you wave the sheaf you shall prepare a male lamb uh one year old, a perfect one, as a burnt offering in Tehua. It's a grain offering, two tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil, and an offering made by fire, a sweet fragrance, and a drink offer of one uh, fourth of a hint of wine. And you do not eat the roasted, you, you do not eat bread or roasted grain or fresh grain until the same day that uh, we have that you were brought out of an offering into your Elohim, a law forever throughout your generations and your dwellings. And from the model right. after the Sabbath, from the day that you brought the sheep wave offering, right? So the next day, you shall count for your seven, yourself seven Sabbaths complete. All right. So here's where it kind of gets choppy with the, the King James, because it looks like to some people that you was reiterating something, right? But that's not what's going on there. Until the morrow after the seventh Sabbath, right? So we count seven Sabbaths until the, the day after, and then you count 50 days. Then you shall bring a new grain offering unto you. What's this grain? This is a different grain than, than um, the other. It's, it's wheat, right? Right. This, this is wheat, and we're not bringing sheaves. Now we're bringing two loaves. Two tenths of fine flour, right? So, to get to the point of loaves, first of all, you have to grow wheat. It's full cycle, right? So, so I can't go into a wheat field that looks like this right here and grab this wheat and come and bring it back and try to make flour out of it. It's going to turn to dough. It's going to be like a paste. It has to be fully mature, dried grain before you can make flour out of it and therefore make two loaves out of it. Right. Mm. So here's the problem. If you only count 50 days and in this first, this very first one, this would have put them in sin. They're, they're, they're not even, they're not even at the mountain yet. If you're counting 50 days from Passover, they're, they're in the wilderness still. Right. So they, they haven't got the law there. When you comes down and says, Hey, I'm going to introduce you to uh, my law. I'm going to, you know, he tests them. He gives them the Shabbat. Right. He doesn't officially give them the law there, but they, right. stop, they stop the count here at 50 days because they say this is where you gave them the law. And it's it's very misleading. It's a misnomer. And the reason I say that is because at planting time, when when we just planted every year in every place. It's the same. And so there's not wheat coming up at 50 days in from Passover ready to be made in the flower it's not 
brother. And I mean, I could show you wheat field. Like, let's let me let me just back up a minute and show you this. This is the guy that I was telling you about. That um, it's kind of contentious. He posted this today on his uh on his broadcast, but he's showing a field here. Uh huh. That he claims is a wheat field. Now, now look at that field. It's no, it's almost completely harvested, and it's all brown. So we're right. coming to the end of a harvest here. Brother, right. We're coming to the end of the barley harvest in in Israel, and not only that, in other places of the world too, <laughs> because that's right. This is not wheat. This is barley on the ground here. But right. he implies that this is wheat and that I'm misleading people and, and yada, yada, yada. Brother, they, they, you can see the USD calendars for planting and harvesting. It's not wheat harvest season in Israel. No, it's, not, it's, it's, not. Not a, it's just not, brother. Right. It's the same growing conditions that we have in the United States. right? And the same planting times. We have the same sun and moon. The same latitude. Okay, yep. so it's the same. Right, it's right. Hey, um, so getting back to my point, and I hope I'm not um, confusing you here, but I, I grew up around farming, and for me, when I started looking at this and I started putting two to two together, I was going, Wait a minute, man, this, this past this Pentecost day doesn't make any sense to me. It you, you don't have wheat to harvest, and and well, think down here. I'm down here with brothers and sisters that follow the the lunar uh, calendar, also the lunar solar calendar, also, and they harvest. Uh, uh, they have a vineyard. They harvest grapes or something like that. I'm not sure, but uh, they say the same thing, you know, about the barley and the wheat. And they, yeah. she said, she was explaining to somebody, well, it can't be that because we know for sure that the barley is not ready right now. We have to do the barley first. And then once the barley's done, then we do this. I was like, it makes sense. It makes yeah. sense. That's well, you're not the is. only one. Yeah, you're, you're on. Hallelujah. So, brother, I've been looking for other people that get possibly, because I am I know I'm not crazy. And I can't be no. the first person in history that you was revealed this to. There's no. got to be wheat farmers that were in the church, in, in Pentecostal church going, you know, I, and maybe not, maybe not, man. Maybe nobody put it together and, and didn't realize that they were celebrating a wheat harvest or the beginning of a wheat harvest. And by the way, right. that that's that goes, and it's beautiful the way you has it laid out, but because from Passover to Pentecost is a harvest of barley, and then from Pentecost all the way to, to the end of Sh Sh uh, Sukkot is the wheat harvest, because right? When you when you're celebrating Sh uh, Sukkot. We're celebrating the end of the of the season. We're, it's a harvest festival. Exactly. exactly. And so there's the wheat has to be finished. Right. right? Well, it starts at, at Pentecost, or I hate using that word. It's Shavuot. Pentecost is such right. misleading, my brother. It and is. I believe Yahuwah did that for a reason because the very first was defiled. He hid it for the last for the last remnant. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's the day that the, the, the disciples, when they were in the upper room and it was fully come, not 10 days later, he poured his spirit out upon all of them there because they were in, in unity. And so it, it, it occurred to me, okay, you, you allowed his name to be hidden. He allowed the son's name to be obscured. He allowed his Shabbat to be hidden from us. It's not a far fall you know, thought that the very special day, Shavuot, he completely hid it from us until a certain time. Right. And let us have a fake, which is basically what they did with this was Christmas and Easter and all that other stuff. It happened to us, man. They gave us fakes. Yeah. So here we got Judah counting the Omer because they don't keep a Pentecost, yeah. right? Oh, they're, oh, yeah. they're, they're counting the Omer because it's the 40, it's the 49 days of light or something like that. I forgot how they, how they oh, work it, but it's, it's a Talmudic practice and it, it's got a lot of Kab Kaba, uh, Kala, uh, Ka Kabbalah in it. Um, yeah. So it's my theory that the early Catholic Christians, the Roman Catholics basically saw what the Jews were doing. And since they were putting out Greek copies of the, you know, whatever letters, because they that's why they were writing in Greek 
in the first place, the, the Hebrews had gone up into the Greek Isles that first 700 years. They had become Greek. So they were writing the early the early church. This is why we got the Septuagint, and it's in Greek. It, you know, they weren't speaking Greek, my brother. They were speaking Aramaic. No, no, they were speaking Aramaic. Right, right. So, so they were writing to a Greek audience, which was the lost sheep. Right, right. But, but somehow, in in later times, we get this impression that the early church was Greek. No, it wasn't. They were they were speaking the Hebrew, a very ancient form of Hebrew, and they were writing to an audience that had lost that ability to, to understand that language, right? That's so right. That's right. we have become Hellen Hellenized with these days, and they take this word Shavuot out of the Bible and put in Pentecost, even in the English translation, we got a Greek word there, right? Yeah. Instead, of, instead of saying, okay, festival of the weeks. No, they got Pentecost there, which stops you from going any further because the fact of the matter is, both kinds of wheat take more than 100 days to mature. Yep, that's right. Okay, so we can't stop at 50. We have to continue. And, and if we do, brother, by the way, and I know you're on the same calendar as me, <clears throat> if you count that up correctly, seven Sabbaths complete and then number 50 days, you've got a couple yeah. of new things in there, right? That's right. So it's about 102 days, and it falls on a new moon date. It's hidden. The moon is hidden, brother. Isn't that wow. it's amazing? The other feast, we got a full moon on either side. The very right. one in the middle is a hidden moon. And I believe it's because of who hid that day. He was he's telling us there it's hidden. All right. The first one was defiled. Man. And I find it fascinating, brother, that he's done this and he preserved it in the growth cycle of wheat. We can't manipulate right. it. Well, we can make GMOs, yeah, but we're not talking about GMOs. No, it's about organic ancient wheat. Uh, emmer wheat is like five thousand years old. It's uh -huh. the same planting, same harvest seasons every year. It doesn't come in early, as as this guy over here with the barley is saying. This is wheat coming in early. No, it's not. <laughs> you don't get wheat early, man. When you plant right. it, it has a growth cycle, and the wheat don't say, "Oh, I'm gonna cut off fifty days." <laughs> <laughs> The wheat doesn't determine that, man. You right. designed it that way, and he preserved his festival in that grain, my brother. Yeah. So I'm trying to share this with people, and, and I'm not, I, I happen to look around and see if there's anybody else. And I did find in World's Last Chance, the, the, the three video series about the Sabbath, in, in, in video three, about 11 minutes in, that guy briefly talks about Shavuot like it's, you know, he should have made a whole video on that because he only touches on it for a few second, a few minutes. Right. He talks about the, the actual count for seven Sabbaths complete number 50 days brings you to a new moon day. And it does. And I've been doing right. it for several years. It always comes up on a new moon day. Nobody else has seen that. And yeah, that's, that's like, Roy Miller. Troy Miller of World Last Chance. He, uh, I talked to him uh, uh, about a month ago. We're on uh, Telegram together. He's not too far from me, and I'm going to take a sometime. I'm going to take a uh, take a trip and go talk to him. But uh, yeah, I think you're not you're not alone on that, bro. You might be alone in your area. Yeah. But what you see, yeah. I, I haven't been into this that long, but I saw it too. I, another sister out of Arkansas. She said, brother, I think it, we're supposed to get recount. I said, I don't know about that. I don't know. So it caused me to go look into it. And I'm like, and I'm listening from other brothers and sisters that actually harvest. They yeah. actually harvest. And they said, well, look, we're here to tell you. It doesn't, it's not ready to harvest this or, or the, we're in the grapes, but the barley harvest has to come in first, then the wheat, and then we do it. And I'm like, oh my. So they can tie in that omer thing they did the sabbath the sabbath count i said oh man i said i was wrong so yeah you're right you're on so it that's what i've been on and this is one of the reasons why i'm getting, get, getting so much um you know spiritual because the the devils do not want that information to be out right no. it, it, you know keep the sabbaths obscure for millennia and now it starts coming out because these are these are appointments these right. are the days where you who is meeting with us, the, the windows of heaven are opened up, right? So, right. you know, 
it occurred to me one day, why would they care about changing the name, right? Well, the scripture says, where two or more gathered in my name, I'm there also, right? Right, so right. If the devils know that, one, I know on the, on the, on the uh, uh, handbook for the enemy, probably around page one or page two, it's somewhere in there says we got to get rid of that name. That's right. right I, I'm right. telling you because it's a threat. And so yeah. is the Shabbat because the, he says, these are my people. This is right. how they do their mind. It's, it's a mark. I think that that the that Sabbath is 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 uh it, it it's been obscured for uh Satan is concentrating on that a lot because it's to me just my personal conjecture of the scripture it's the only Sabbath we're told to keep it's the only one so when you start finding people trying to keep the Sabbath trying to figure it out the scripture says in uh, Revelation twelve that twelve seventeen that the dragon is coming for the offspring of the remnant. The remnant is the one that's keeping his commandments, trying to keep the Sabbath, keep everything the Father commands. He's coming after you. That's not, it's no, it's not short why you're being attacked and why things are happening to you because it knows that spirit, uh, the unclean spirit knows what you're up to and knows yeah. what you're trying to do. And don't don't let it out. Don't get that out to nobody. You know yeah. that's that's it. Mm -hmm. I see that, brother, and I've been seeing it with other other. Um, groups and stuff that are on they're on target and you can see the attacks coming where they're having mm -hmm. to deal with attacks where they're trying to learn it's a distraction because the enemy's going right. you're getting too close right so yep um but but i do believe that you who is going to you know make this mainstream and that the hebrews are going to get this because they're going to start to understand the agricultural connection to it and the difference between mm -hmm. barley and wheat um I think that's going to be a very special time, right? And like I said, I couldn't fathom how he's going to do this. And, and you know, I got caught off guard with this this group that I just showed you here in, in Arizona. They're on this Saturday Sabbath thing, but somehow or another, they got synchronized to the solar lunar calendar at Abib time. So they celebrated Passover like a day different than us. And so for a moment, they were they were on the right same sheet of, sheet of music. But with that fixed day is where the devil's in the details because the brother can't see that from year to year, he's got 10 extra days between his feasts. Whether you right. look at it, neither, it doesn't matter which one you look at. If you look at trumpets, look at trumpets from year to year and see that there's a 10 day difference. Where'd that come from? Well, when right. you count continuously and don't set apart those new moon days, you're going right. to accumulate days that's right through the whole year that's and at right the, end of the year when it comes you'll have about 10 extra days sometimes it's at nine sometimes it's 11 depending on mm -hmm. how the moon did but in, in jubilees it says 10 extra days because that's the average that's going to happen right and so if if the guy just did his uh, an assessment of his position and started and, and this is how i know he hasn't looked at the information because it doesn't take a genius, brother, to see the math there and to see, oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. People are so caught up in ego, they don't even look at the information and they just, you know, try to Google and, and, and um, de de debunk you. Like, mm -hmm. like pulling up this video of a, a barley harvested and trying to tell us with no time stamp and with no official word from the, from the area that it happened, right. that this is wheat or this is barley. No, he's telling us that, um, you know, in this picture that the barley harvest is nearly finished, right? He says it came early in the video, but but he's implying with this picture that it's almost finished, right? It's, yeah. No, this is this is called barley. This is not wheat. The barley harvest is nearly finished because we're coming into Shavuot, but the wheat's right. not ready. And here's how I know, because I had people going out taking pictures all, all around, brother, and I got... One from um, this sister that sent me from Oklahoma. And uh, this is what it looks like right here. It's just coming into. Hey, Jonathan, I'm given my May 26, 2023 um, update on the wheat field across the street for me. Now, if this was barley and this was Passover time, 
we would say this this field is a bee. It's, it's ripening. And we would right, go and right. put some, some grains out of there and go wave it as sheep offerings. But the thing is, you can't take this and make it into a, um, a flower. It's dough. It's like a paste. Mm -hmm. This is the way the fields look all around. And, and, and Israel's no different. This is the way the wheat looks like in Israel. And the barley is what you saw harvest because it, it makes sense. We're coming up to the end of the barley harvest. And now we're starting. Right. The, the wheat harvest is coming in. But this still, this this wheat is not going to be ready for another five weeks because it takes about four weeks of drying in the field. Yeah. And then it's ready. Yep. So how are we having Shavuot at 50 days and there's no wheat? There's no wheat to make bread with. That's right. So trying to spark, you know, some people to think and get back to the agriculture and, and start reconciling this because there's a secret here, man. If we can get I think it's key. figured out, I following the agriculture is key. It, it, it for is. me, I'm not a I'm not a farmer. I don't know nothing about farming, but I'm learning through others that do, and that's how I found out about the barley and the weed. And I'm like, what? And they like, oh yeah, yeah they because they're in it, they know it. And I'm like, oh. And then they said, you ever think it was kind of crazy how the farmer almanacs go by the moon yeah. and the the sun, and the seasons, I was like, I didn't know that. They were like, yeah. yeah. And in Constantine's edict, when he forbids the Jews from keeping the lunar solar Sabbath and keeping the festival of weeks, and they start counting the Omer, right? He, there's an exception, except for the farmers. The farmers didn't have to adjust their, their calendar. It was just, the, it was just. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what would happen if he adjusts the calendars for planting and harvesting? People would have starved to death. Yeah, because the grain right. you can't manipulate it. You can with GMOs, but you can't. Uh -huh. You can't plant a grain of wheat and tell it to come up when it's not supposed to come up. It's, it's right. has its season, and if you plant it in the wrong season, you'll completely kill it because you because you're going to have monsoons. You know, we can have rains in certain times, but at the latter point of it, it cannot have a wet season. It'll destroy it. Right. So oh, okay. all that's involved in this growing cycle of wheat, it just to get mm -hmm. right enough water. And that's why you've got a grain belt all the way across the world, because these are the optimal places that the wheat's going to grow in its season correctly. Now, a little further north, a little further south, you can manipulate your season a little bit, um, and, but, but not much. The closer you are to, to you know, the, the equator, and I don't even know what kind of earth you're on, brother, but where the sun is directly over your head, you can get longer seasons. You can kind of stretch them, but the further you get away from that and going north, you can't. Right. You shorter okay. seasons. Yeah. I didn't right? know that. Because the light's different. You you got shorter seasons in like fin uh, Finland and, you know, the closer you are to the, to the north. Right. But in that grain belt that the United States is on, and it's the same as um, Israel. Israel. It's all the same. It's, wow. There's, there's no planting and harvest differences. Yeah. But what's the problem are you having? What, 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 I don't get it. What's the problem? Well, cognitive dissonance, my brother, is the dirty, wicked sister of confusion. <laughs> cognitive dissonance. People are, they don't want it when you, you can present truth to them and show, see, yeah. see this, see this. What they do is they hold on to tradition and whatever feels good they always kept yeah. pentecost but they never went mm -hmm. and really went and looked at what pentecost is and and oh my wait a minute it's a grain festival okay what grain and in the natural big for people that don't understand this oh it must be barley no it's not that that festival is called a v and it's at passover time right commemorating the beginning of the harvest that harvest runs all the way to the beginning of the summer and then the wheat starts right so it's like handing right. off <laughs> right so yeah and now now those seasons can't overlap you can't have the barley go into like a month or so into the summer but you're not going to have wheat harvested before barley ever nowhere in the world oh, okay it's harvested after and even in ruth ruth too look at this because this was one of the evidences that they were harvesting wheat and barley at the same time in the spring uh, it was ruth too but when i when i looked at it and and it's not saying that. First of all, he implies that corn 
is wheat in uh, in the text there. No, it's not. It's it's a form of corn called maize. Um, mm -hmm. The kind of corn we have today is not the corn they had then. It was actually maize. Um, but you can you can see that she is um, she is gleaning. Okay, so so the the widows could glean the fields after a harvest, right? So after the barley was harvested. The corners would be left for the widows to glean, right? Right. But the harvest had to be over. They didn't come in first. They come in after. The text says that. Same thing with wheat. They didn't come in at the beginning of the wheat field to harvest it. It was at the end, right, that they right. would harvest, right? So he implies that they're, oh, Naomi and Ruth are harvesting um, barley and wheat at the same time. No, it's not. It tells you the very last verse to glean unto the end of the barley harvest and of right. the wheat harvest, which is what uh -huh. yeah. So they're gleaning from both harvests, but they have to wait till the end of both, right? So they had to wait till the end of the barley harvest, the field like we just saw, right? In Israel, that's when they could come in and glean for barley, and then when the wheat right. field looked like that too, they could also so so their gleaning periods had a had a gap in it. They didn't just okay. go from the barley field to the wheat field and get all their groceries at one time. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. End of the barley harvest to glean and then wait to the end of that wheat field to, to glean, okay? Wow. He's implying in his video that they're doing it at the same time, and that's that's not what's happening. They never harvest. It, it might overlap, but they don't begin and end at the same time. Right. Well, okay. I tell you what, I'm learning a lot right now as far as the harvesting. I'm glad that I needed to get more in depth on this part, on the glean, the harvest stuff. Yeah. Well, brother, I, I wanted to make contact with you because I know you're persistent and I know you who is revealing truth to you because I've watched you and I've seen you in your videos growing and sharing that and you glow like a light when you uh -huh. do. So I know that the Holy Spirit will 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 reveal this. He'll reveal this, and you may see something oh, yeah. I don't see out of this. Right. Oh yeah, I'm I'm sucking this in right now, bro. Because the, to me, the way you explain this, it's it makes sense. It breaks the the, the it, it 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 breaks the scriptures down to get where you got an illustration to go by. I'm only going by for me. Because the way you broke down the harvest, this has yeah. to come. This has to come. It can overlap. You're you're given a visual. You're given a visual of how things work and how everything sets up. I'm like, wow. Well, okay. Yeah, yeah. red is one thing, but to understand with illustration, which gives clarity to me, it gives clarity and understanding of that. That's one thing that I lack is understanding the harvest time. The timing of the harvest. Well, just listening to you made it very clear. So yeah. that's great. Oh wow, what do we got here? This is the this is the USDA um, agricultural calendar, and this one's for for the world, and, and it goes alphabetical. But you can see here, okay, winter wheat is is planted in October, and this is why they call it winter wheat. It's not because it's harvested uh -huh. in winter. It's it's planted. It's planted here. It runs through its season. All the way, it's 240 days, brother, it takes for winter wheat to grow. Wow. It's harvested at the end of May, going at the end of the barley harvest, right? Going into uh -huh. summer. That's that's Albania. Now, there are some exceptions to the rule, but it's because of their climate. They're further north and stuff. But you can see, like here, the barley harvest starts first, and then winter wheat starts later. But they do overlap. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So, so the so you come to the end of this one and you can glean fields, but you got to wait yeah. to the end of this one to glean this field. Does that make sense? You can't do it wow. at the same time. You can't do it yeah. at the same time. All right, barley All right. in Belgium. Harvest harvest is before the harvest of the wheat. Bosnia. Uh, all they're dealing with is winter wheat. You can see it starts at the end of June, runs all the way through the summer. All the way down the list, brother, you'll see that the, the winter wheat and the spring wheat are both harvested in the summer. Never do you see it harvested in May, April, none of that. Is that right? No, no. I didn't know that. Yes. Wow. Both types Man. of wheat 
are all harvested at summertime. And that's what this graph is showing. You got winter wheat harvested in July, right? Right. Look at where the barley is. Now, this this is a, this is the exception to the rule. Look how far up we're over. Denmark, and we can uh, litter, we can get wheat before the barley here, but it's Denmark. We're way up north. Right, right. Estonia. Um, same thing. That that's real high up. Croatia, it's it's, it's it's but but if you look, barley, when it's harvested, it's at the end of May, uh May here going into June. And that's yeah. a close margin there, but it's still before in every case. Right. Yeah. My goodness. France. I never knew that, bro. Look at look at France. Barley. You start here and then the wind the, the wheat is here. Right. Same thing. Barley starts first, then it's second. See, it's yeah. Not even, uh, they're not even getting um, a harvest in um the springtime for this because of where they are. But 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 universal truth all the way down the line is you'll see the winter wheat is all all in the summer. And this is why the Bible calls it a, a summer grain. It's yeah. never harvested in the spring ever. Ever. What we do see Man. harvested in the spring is barley. This is what they're seeing in the field um, in Israel. Barley. Is barley, barley in the field. Barley. It's not the, yeah. it's not the wheat, wheat, brother, because wheat never comes in until like the second week of June. Wow. Through the, through the rest of the summer, that's when you'll start seeing harvest time. And so what does that take us? If we look yeah. at the calendar for that 102 days, brother, it actually puts Shavuot on July 17th at the new moon. That's when wow. Shavuot is. And if we and we're going to look at wheat fields worldwide, and what we're going to see is what? Brown wheat being harvested. Because yeah. It's, it's in its that's season. Right. It's in its season. Man, brother, you on it, man. You are on it. I've been on this thing for three years, man, trying to reconcile this because it, 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 Acts 2, what happened there? And then you were telling us in, in the prophets that he's going to pour out his spirit in the end times for the, for the end times people. Well, when is that? When When's that going to be? I think it's going to be Shavuot time when Some, we're somebody united. That. A lot of people think. Some people believe that it's Shavuot. I've heard uh, 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 tabernacles, uh, 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 atonement. I've heard different different versions of how they believe, but but they all believe that it's going to be during the high feast, a feast time during that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And now the second coming, I believe, is is in line with Yeshua fulfilling the feast that, as he was. Um, and and that the fact that Shavuot was fulfilled with the disciples with the spirit being poured out. The next one is trumpets, which makes sense because he's coming with a trumpet. And by the way, right. I, I, I was taught a pre-trib rapture. That was a doctrine I had to get out of because I, mm -hmm. I finally saw that the script in all of the scriptures. Heaven comes down. We don't go to heaven. Right, right. New Jerusalem comes down, but so right. where did this doctrine come that that the church goes to heaven for seven years and everybody else is down here in tribulation, right? Right. That's other doctrine that I came out of, but it was hard to overcome that because of the cognitive dissonance. I was taught from a young child, twelve years old, preacher of rapture, da, 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 dispensationalism, um, uh, even a replacement theology. That Israel oh, yeah. was done away with, and it's us, the church now. And when I started finally reading my Bible, instead of just listening what they're telling me, yep, that's when it started going. Oh my gosh, man! I got to do a one eighty on this. Yeah, we're going the wrong yeah. way. <laughs> so, anyway, brother, I just wanted to share that with you and see if you could um. Ponder it, pray on it, man, and, and and see if the Holy Spirit reveals anything to you. You know, because oh, bro, I'm telling you, I I I needed that because, like I said, I I, I understood it. Uh, but a sister was telling me, and I was like, oh, sis, I don't believe so. No, brother, I think I think we may have to do. I said, I don't believe it, but it caused me. Anybody to ask me something or tell, try to share something with me. First thing I'm going to do, I said, well, I got to go see this myself. So doing so, I could see things in there, but I didn't under, quite understand it. You're the first. 
you're the first that but I've read I met other brothers and sisters that fi- I saw on my Facebook page when I had Facebook um the, the sister down here uh we just celebrated new moon with them uh this 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 last new moon we went out over there to see them a couple hours away and they harvest stuff and and I saw in her comment trying to explain to another sister that no 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 sis it's about the barley is this and then the wheat and she knew that but I never went in depth I knew that she yeah. understood it. You're the first. You're the first one to actually it. break it down to what I was reading, but not really getting clarity of what I, uh, I'm understanding. So with you, yeah, I, everything you, that I was gathering in, you you got clarity to it now. It Hallelujah. makes sense. It just makes sense. Complete sense. Absolutely. That, well, that's a blessing. We're, we're right confirmation there. for both then, because because um you know when when you're the only when you're at the tip of the spear and you're bringing this truth and, and I'm looking over to look for somebody to, you know, to get a confirmation that, yeah, I'm seeing this too. But when you're kind of out there and, you know, it's like, am I getting it? Is this because right. guessing yourself and go, well, maybe I am wrong about this, but then it's like, right. no, this is no, like- no, <laughs> no, bro. You're on it. And you're not alone. You're not alone. You, you know more about that. You're more in depth in it, but I can take what you understand and it coincides as a witness to the other brothers and sisters out here that are actually doing the harvesting and growing stuff. And they, oh, they know the time of the year. And I'm like, oh, boy. You that's sound who I need to get. Like I, I need to make contact with those kinds of people that are, that are actually farming it. Because this is where we lost a connection to agriculture somewhere along the way. And right. now we take it for granted. We, we, yes. we don't understand that the, these things have a, a, a natural cycle. And, and everything has a season. And when we start... Mixing the two together and thinking wheat's barley, barley's wheat, and we get all con- it's a mess, brother. But I'm really confident when we get this thing figured out, you who's gonna do something amazing with his remnant. I really Dude, I think I think you will be the one doing something, not me. You're the one <laughs> the teacher of it. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I'm telling you what a, we as Hebrews tell, is what I mean. I'll tell you what, do you have a site or something that I can direct people to come to your site or something like that or Web we're working or... on. I'm, I had two websites that were taken down. They were they were hacked, and it's a long story. But I'm working on getting something together. All I have is my YouTube channel, where all my all I'm it's on. I'm on the calendar right now, and it's it's all I've been doing um, lately. But what, what's the name of the YouTube something. channel? It's the Code Searcher. The Code Searcher. The Code Searcher. I'll refer, yeah. people, I'll re, I'll refer people to you. I'll, I'll do that. I, I I got two channels taken down. So now I'm down to um, just like 40 something people, but it's moving up to close to 50, but I'll do that. Uh, and I'm gonna refer people to my YouTube channel, but TikTok has really been a big platform for me recently. So uh, it's grew a lot. So I'm, I'm starting to grow a little audience and uh, talking about certain things, whatever the father puts on my heart, I'll discuss. But I definitely wanna talk about the Sabbath, uh, this father's calendar again. And get this here that I learned today, and I want to try to swing them by you. Absolutely, brother. Swing. Yeah, swing Absolutely. them to your page to learn. Oh yeah. I appreciate you meeting with me today, man. I know we uh, you you was laying down resting, and, and I felt a little bad. <laughs> Told me you was laying down, but um, I don't care, man. I'm retired. I I got these. You know, today the, now I don't know what it is to you. Is it Shabbat to you? Yeah, yeah. Right, it is. Yeah. So I just I usually just rest. So yeah, I just it's your Shabbat yeah. for us. We're on the same calendar, and um, and I, and when you told me you were laying down, I was like, oh my gosh, he's resting. So that's why I said, don't <laughs> don't rush, because um, you know, I don't want to disturb you on uh, it. Would be respectful. no, no. I had to get up anyway. It's I wanted that, to connect uh, with you though, because you, I've been watching, figure this thing out, this calendar on your walk, and it, it's a very inspiring. I see how the others react to you on uh, TikTok and stuff, and so I I know the Holy Spirit's working something with you man and and you're also a light in this we're all called to be lights to the nation and so uh, i tell you brother I, I appreciate it it's a lonely walk i tell you it that. is it is it is definitely um, lonely you get pe- where people don't want to associate with you because you look crazy or they're, they're spreading rumors about you or something like that but oh yeah every single one oh, of yeah. the prophets brother it was a lonely road for them but you got that right yeah all right daryl shalom to you man i love you brother um, Love you too, bro. Your All righty. Have a blessing. You too, bro. All right. 
Bye.